welcome back to the famed journey, where we bring you the latest and most intriguing stories from the world of entertainment. Today, we dive into a controversy surrounding one of Hollywood's legendary directors, Francis Ford Coppola. Just before the highly anticipated film Megalopolis premiered at the Cannes Film Festival, shocking allegations surfaced accusing Coppola of inappropriate behavior on set. Eyewitnesses have come forward with claims that paint a troubling picture of the iconic filmmaker's conduct during the shooting of a particularly provocative scene. Stay tuned as we unpack the details, analyze the evidence, and discuss the implications of these accusations. As Megalopolis geared up for its world premiere at Kin in May, an expose by The Guardian set off a firestorm. The 85-year-old director, Francis Ford Coppola, was accused of inappropriate behavior toward female extras on set. Eyewitnesses claimed that Coppola, while filming a Bacchanalian nightclub scene, tried to kiss several topless and scantily clad women. This behavior, described by some sources as old school, allegedly included pulling women onto his lap. Adding weight to these allegations, Variety obtained two videos that seemed to corroborate the witnesses' claims. These videos show Coppola engaging in the behavior described, leaping up to kiss and hug several women during the filming of the nightclub scene. This particular scene, shot in February 2023 at the Tabernacle Concert Hall in Atlanta, involved between 150 to 200 extras. According to the call sheet, many of these extras were cleared for topless nudity or scantily clad appearances. An insider present during the shooting described Coppola's actions as uncommon, stating that his behavior disrupted the filming process. Coppola allegedly took to a microphone at one point, announcing, Sorry, if I come up to you and kiss you, just know it's solely for my pleasure. This startling statement has fueled the controversy, raising questions about the director's professionalism and respect for his cast and crew. During the production of Megalopolis, Coppola's wife, Eleanor, fell ill and was present on set until her health prevented her from continuing. Tragically, she passed away in April. Despite this personal hardship, a source close to Coppola highlighted that the film was completed on time and within budget. However, this does little to mitigate the gravity of the accusations against him. Coppola's representative has declined to comment on the videos and allegations. When questioned by the New York Times, Coppola seemingly denied the claims, stating, I'm not touchy-feely because I'm too shy. Executive co-producer Darren Demetra attempted to defend Coppola, admitting to the physical touching but framing it as a way to establish the club atmosphere crucial to the scene. Demetra claimed he was unaware of any complaints of harassment during the project. The Guardian's report also detailed other instances of unprofessional conduct on set. One source noted the absence of an HR department due to Coppola self-financing the $120 million project, leaving crew members with no formal avenue to report misconduct. This lack of oversight raises significant concerns about the working environment and the power dynamics at play. Neither of the intimacy coordinators employed on the film were present during the controversial nightclub scene, adding another layer of complexity to the situation. In the aftermath, senior crew members reportedly reminded everyone of their non-disclosure agreements, attempting to control the circulation of the incriminating videos. As Megalopolis prepares for its September release, the allegations against Coppola cast a shadow over the film. The controversy not only affects the reputation of the iconic director but also raises broader questions about conduct and accountability in the film industry. Thank you for tuning into the Fame Journey.